I hope you all are doing great. When the judiciary twisted the constitution to favor Tinumbu, I made a statement saying this impunity will not end with P2B and that it was going to touch everyone. Now my statement is becoming a fact because it's not only affecting Labour Party but other parties as well. In a country where justice is for sale, the, how would you expect investors to come? Many companies have left Nigeria and your so-called president is going around the world looking for investors where you cannot keep the ones you have. The recent judgment in Kano has shown that Nigerian judges have no shame. They sell justice to the highest bidder. How can you have two judgments written in order to sell to the one who pays the highest? Nigerians are suffering, yet our judges are cashing out in dollars. Remember, Tinumbu paid a lot of money to win the primaries. He paid a lot of money to INEC chairman. And he also paid a lot of money to the judiciary, both the Supreme Court and the Appeal Court, to stay in power. So how do you expect him to work for you? He is trying to recover his money back because he bought his way into power. The judiciary that was supposed to be the hope of the common man is now the hope of the wealthiest man. Nigerian is gradually sinking in our eyes because one man has captured the executive, the judiciary, and the legislative arm of the government, but the police, the armed forces. Nobody can do anything or say anything but follow whatever he says. And in turn, he gives them bags of money just to look the other way, the same way the judiciary looked the other way and twisted our constitution. Our future is being mortgaged by these criminal politicians. They pretend to be working for the country. Our young boys are involved in rituals. Our young boys are also involved in Yahoo to make money. Our girls are involved in runs to survive. Now, the latest one is Yahoo boys uses girls to make money. We copied this democracy from the West. But believe me, if you go to other country, you will be marveled in what they are doing. They take care of their citizens. They work for the citizens. And that is what government is all about. In Nigeria, one man sits there controls the money, buy whatever he wants to buy, loot, and then go away. And at the end, gullibles will be clamping for him. I tell you one thing. The people that are clapping for Tinumbo today are the ones that are enjoying under him. My brothers, my sisters, until we realize that our future is being mortgaged by these politicians. We will remain in darkness. I thank you once again for listening to my video. God bless you. I'm not asking you to do anything. But all I'm asking is for you to tighten your seatbelt and know, and also for you to know that in the next four years, we will be getting into the worst situation that life has for us. I'm going to say once again, thank you very much. I'm obedient and useful and I hope you are.